Hey guys, Blake here from Into Mobile, and today we're going to take a quick look at the new software features coming coming at you from um, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Now this is one of the you know smaller updates that we've seen from Android in a while, but it does seem like it's kind of like Android 2.2-ish in the aspect that a small update can really pack a big punch. Like um, it basically, Jelly Bean is building off of the successes of um, Ice Cream Sandwich, and you know there's only a couple minor features that are are pretty notable, but um, and actually they're not minor at all. Some of them are are very very nice, um, just kind of like the Google Now and the voice search that um, hopefully you've seen by now. Um, but right now we're gonna dive into some of our favorite features that um, that you know you can expect hopefully coming to your handset and you know some sometime soon. Um, so when you're scrolling through through applications and things like that, I mean, your first thing you're going to notice um, is you know it's just it's just so it's so much more smooth. Like the the entire the entire UI is just like very very smooth, and that would be thanks to um, Project Butter. Project Butter basically has put the um, Put the UI on steroids, and now the entire um, system runs at about 60 frames per second. And you can thank uh, Project Butter for that. Um, it's you know, Ice Cream Sandwich really made the Android experience very, very smooth and easy on the eyes. But um, this this just takes it to the next level, and it's actually you know, you really got to play with it, um, play with it a bit, and you'll really just see the differences even between uh, Ice Cream Sandwich and Jelly Bean. So. Um, yeah, definitely thank uh, thank the Google team for Project Butter because it is buttery smooth. Um, and let's just like kind of keep um, moving around here. What else do we got here that's um, new in Android 4.1? Um, uh, well, uh, yeah, let's let's see. Let's just dive into notifications. I was gonna save that for uh, one of um, later on, but um, notifications are by far my my favorite new tweak to um, Android. So instead of just um, you know, it's essentially the same thing you're going to see, but now there's a lot more going on. So now you can see I sent some emails to myself to, um, oh, I um, sent some emails to myself to, you know, get a, so you can see multiple emails right here, have some tests, some, you know, some Twitter things going on, and well, I also have a picture I sent to myself right there. Um, so, like, this is, um, you know, that's nice. You can get in a high-res photo right here, and you actually get multiple um, emails that are waiting for you, which are, are nice. But, you know, that's that's a lot of screen real estate that your um, that your notification panel is uh, is taking up right there. But Google thought of that, and easily, with a two-finger gesture, you can now shrink shrink these notifications down. So it's actually very nice and very well thought out. Um, it's not necessarily the best for um, a one-handed gesture because it's kind of unless you have two thumbs right right here, uh, you might you might not be able to do it as easily. But it is easy, you know you can easily tell that it's made with um, you know these your two thumbs moving up. Um, so that's that's nice, and you can also just um, you know just swipe it away like you would expect, and then that's when you know the last one will kind of drop down and give you more information that you like. Um, so and this also doesn't this extends to almost all notifications, and I think there's an there's an API that um, th that will help um, developers um, extend extend these new um, capabilities of the notification panel into their from applications. Um, but you can also get like a high res photo if somebody shares a photo from you on um, on Google Plus or things like that. So it's a, it's a very small but you know very you know, powerful and very nice to look at um, tweak for notica notifications on um, on Jelly Bean, and yeah, it's still definitely one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, I, that's that's about you know that's about it. I wish I had more uh, more examples, and we'll definitely dive into some more uh, in the full review. Um, but now we're gonna jump into widgets. So Ice Cream Sandwich, um, you know they uh, they introduced um, the you know the ability to resize widgets, and so like that's you know that's nothing new if you've been holding on to an Ice Cream Sandwich device. Um, but the one thing that they have done, and actually I'll give you a demo of that, is one of the things that they introduced in Ice Cream Sandwich was, you know, the ability to move applications around and they would move out of the way for you, which is, you know, definitely something you've seen in iOS before. Um, you know, that's, that's very nice and dandy, but um, now they, um, Google has implemented that for, for widgets now. Or just um, home screen operations. Um, so if I want to move this um, this widget 
over to my main panel, you can see how how the um, the icons and folders are kind of in the way, but they'll now move out of your way for you. Um, you know, it's it's not necessarily a you know feature you're going to be using all the time, but it does make um, a customization a little easier, so you can actually tweak it to the way you want it. So that's um, definitely a welcome feature that we uh, we saw in Jelly Bean as well. Um, and let's actually jump into the camera app. So there's uh, some very you know very subtle changes that have happened to that, but it um, to the camera app, but it's definitely welcomed. Um, so you know we already know the Galaxy Nexus can take some. Um, incredibly fast photos but um, let's now when we take a photo you can get this new animation and that's because instead of having to just tap on that thumbnail from the thumbnail on uh, ice cream sandwich you now have the animation going like that because you can easily just swipe all of you all the previous pictures you've just taken so that's um it's really neat and that's an easy way to just jump in and share immediately just so you don't have to you know you know go back and like all right, there's that. All right, well, now I guess I can't even demo how it used to be because that was ice cream sandwich, but it is a very nice um, little tweak that, um, you know, not not that big, but we're definitely happy about it. And there's also um, very, you know, very small is that the um, the autofocus animation on the screen will actually just kind of grows and then goes back. So, um, you know, that, yeah, that's uh, pretty much most of the uh, the tweaks in the the camera. You know, small, simple... You know, like we were saying, that Jelly Bean is definitely not, not the uh, the biggest update we've ever seen. But you know, what what it does provide is definitely, um, you know, we're definitely happy to see that um, ice cream sandwich um, has been updated. You know, without without taking too much away from what we already loved about it. Um, so now now we're gonna t um, take a, a little. We're going to revisit a feature that we also liked in Ice Cream Sandwich, and that's Android Beam. So Android Beam has received an enhancement that you can actually now send pictures, and that is very, you know, essentially the exact same way of um, that uh, Samsung uh, announced in the Galaxy S3 with their S Beam. So, but instead of Wi-Fi Direct, the um, new the new way of doing Android Beam to send pictures or video with, with uh, Jelly Bean is through Bluetooth and um, not Wi-Fi Direct. All right, so now I'm just going to show you uh, what how you do that. It's actually you know very simple. It's just basically you're beaming, and I'm going to send this picture, the one that I have a million of at this point. All right, so I'm going to take this picture. I'm going to get my my Nexus Seven. And I'm gonna put the, you know, I'm gonna put the uh, the battery on the Galaxy Nexus has the NFC panel in it, where the the NFC chip right on the Ga uh, Nexus Seven is up at top. So I'm going to let me see. There we go. We got a touch to beam. And there we go. And now I can look at my notification panel, and it says incoming beam. Let's see. And I don't believe this will actually auto auto populate or it won't show you the picture on here, but it does tell you to touch to view. So and there oh and there we go. That is the new Android beam and you can do this with bigger files um, as well, but it's just you know it's obviously gonna be a little faster with um let me see. And it's gonna be a little faster when you do it with pictures. So yeah, that's definitely um something we're thankful for. Um and we have no complaints to the fact that it's done with um, with Bluetooth over besides Wi-Fi Direct, but um, you know those are those are just some of the the main points that we really like about ice cream, um, Jelly Bean. But there's a lot going on that is you know it, it's it's definitely worth the update. You know we can still do the Google Now, which we already touched on in an, a, another video, but there you know the, and that's definitely one of our favorite features as well uh, as as well as the the new notifications. Um, but yeah, that's a quick look at that. Uh, for Jelly Bean on the Galaxy Nexus and the Nexus 7. Stay tuned for the full review of Jelly Bean, and thanks for watching, guys.